Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure where we have finally got our hands on a bottle of whiskey, courtesy of our good friend Zadok here who now is sober. Um, we gave him some coffee and he loved it, so he gave us his whiskey. And now hopefully we're going to be able to go back to the Finman house and see if we can speak to um, Bob Ormstein, who is the, the person that we've been tasked with finding here. And I believe that's the person who's upstairs in the hotel. His name slipped my mind a couple of episodes ago, but hopefully, now that we've got uh, this here, we should be all good. You better talk to him first. Right, okay, we're going to talk to him first, apparently. We're back. Um... Right, uh, got a little something to wash down the cookie with. It seems like I've been drinking the way I just said that, but I haven't. <laughs> Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. Good. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. <coughs> oh, God, maybe don't drink ah, it like that. <laughs> and that hit the spot. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now. Not us personally, no, but oh, God forbid, someone no. else might Down have. The hatch. <laughs> Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Can we go upstairs? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? No. <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I. Oh god, there is somebody in there. What? What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. What the I hell? No idea either. My roommate. Wait a minute. Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. This guy's got a really cool voice. Um, I'm returning his cat. I'm here about the fish. I'm returning his cat. I'm returning his cat. It, it got lost around the docks. I found it, so here I am. That is a very special cat indeed. But it's not Mr. Ormstein's. You are trying to deceive you me. You don't know that. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run. Or your intentions are pure and your heart innocent, in which case we can talk. Okay, um, my heart is not full of darkness. This this guy seems different to the other cult people. He he actually seems quite intelligent and strong and not a complete nobody. So I, I wonder if this could be Olmstein himself or Ormstein, wh whatever his name is. My heart is not full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. <laughs> I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumble into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Where to begin? Art, I'm just a librarian, sir. And this, this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kid type. Yeah, that's exactly. the one. And then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? The order. Which me. Uh, anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? Probably shouldn't have said Gotta that. Gotta be real. May my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. <laughs> yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger. Pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is. Why are we just handing it over? Uh, an exception will be made. Okay, we're not handing it over. Good. Whoa. We'll walk up to his room and we'll see from there. That's a cooler outfit, isn't it, than the one he was wearing a minute ago. I like this guy. I'm not sure if he's a good guy or not, but but I quite like him. He's cool. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. Oh, damn. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? The Order. Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh, my God. All this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> yeah. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kitty. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, 
I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. Okay, first of all, how do you know Dawn? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Hmm, why hire Don? Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. No, he's, he's fine. Trying to find a way he's to pull right. through. Oh, then again, he did touch that gem thing, so maybe not. Uh, madmen? What madmen? Madmen? What madmen? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. Or the... The Butcher. Uh, I've heard of the Esoteric Order. I've heard of the Esoteric Order. What's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here in Fishmoth? Uh, no. Uh, not really. The half goofa, those idiots, those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. That's probably true. Well, neither do I. But are you gonna do something about the half goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. Okay. Uh, Starry Parish. Starry Parish. Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Uh, geometry. <laughs> the Butcher? The Butcher? Tell me about the Butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that, but what I will say is this. He butchers he things. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all costs. Okay. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach. And watch your step here in Fishmouth. Okay, we Him will. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Anyway. Okay, about Olmstein. About Olmstein. Uh, the other? What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Yeah, so of. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Oh, jeez, with the cryptic <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That would have been a big help, wouldn't it? If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Yeah, cannibalism. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no ah, one would so that's what happened. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. <laughs> Not spiked enough. But I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway. Okay, can you describe Olmstein to me? Can you describe Olmstein for me? Ha, huh, that would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. How does that or work? you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. Huh. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. But the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. Lovely. Changing subject. Just what we wanted then. So he does this a lot, disappears at the worst possible moment? So, he does this a lot, disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh, might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. You do that. <sighs> it's what I do. Right, let's find this breadcrumb then. Uh, so Barnabas is pretty cool, isn't he? I like I like this guy. He's a good character. Let's take a look at this suitcase. Completely empty. Either Olmstein travels light, or he's just wearing everything right now. Or it's just a ruse, and he has no need for things like clothes. And you're going out the deep end, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Snapping out of it. Too much thinking. Uh, can we do anything with it? No, I'm traveling light myself. No, okay. This is pretty freaky, this portrait here. It's the eyes. A particularly unattractive representative of the Fishmouth population. 
I'd place him anywhere between fearsomely fishy and repulsively reptilian. Good description. Just... Uh, this town, man. Yeah, it's pretty pretty intense, isn't it, this place? Uh, domestic area. Just a mug and a pitcher of coffee. Nothing to shine any kind of light on this Holmstein character. Except that we know he likes coffee. It is just a hotel room, so it's not really telling me anything. Except the fact that Olmstein drinks coffee. There we go, see? Uh, what else have we got? We've got a window, there's a painting. Ah, feathers and a piece of paper. Let's take a look out the window. That big window overlooks the smelly intersection outside. Looks like the only way out, so I guess Olmstein jumped. But we didn't see or hear anything. Unless the feathers means that Olmstein can fly. It's closed from the outside, which makes it even stranger. Huh, that is very weird. This just keeps getting more and more complicated. Hey, look at that. It's a pretty neat painting of the harbor. Accurate, too. Maybe the harbor has a key? Although I don't see old Zadok pictured, so maybe not that accurate. <laughs> that would be extremely accurate. You can almost smell the decayed fish through the canvas. Yeah, grim. Uh, right, let's look at these feathers then. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? Or maybe... The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I thought you couldn't read. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, how do you know that? Hmm? This has got to be some kind of symbol, right? One whose significance eludes me, that's for sure. Yeah, uh... They're interesting, but not pick up and carry around interesting. Okay, so it's got, got to have something to do with this paper, then. A conspicuous piece of paper lying on Olmstein's bed. I really hope it's of some significance. Really, we just, we've got to pick it up to read it, then. Ooh! Interesting. Uh... So it's, it's just a, a diagram of some sort. Uh, Barnabas, can you shed any light on this, buddy? I found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Olmstein's sign. Ah. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but it must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this. And questioning it is a waste of time. Okay. Uh, roll what roll? Roll what roll? Finding the book was an accident. It was just bad luck. Or was it? That is how the tome works. The rolls are defined, but the book is pure chaos. Okay, help me understand more about Olmstein. Help me understand more about Olmstein. I need to find him. I need to change my cat back. That is your stake in all of this? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that? Has a name, buddy. Changing the sort cat of. back is the most important thing. Uh, how did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? How did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? That is a story for another time. Fine. <sighs> Why is his name Bob Olmstein? Why is his name Bob Olmstein? I mean, you call him other and all that, but his name is so common. There must be a reason for that. But does it really matter? Not to me. Okay, what's his game? What's Olmstein's game? Is it good? Is he evil? These are questions that I cannot outright answer with a yes or no. All I have is my belief and some suppositions, and the former is much more powerful than the latter. Right. If they do exist, maybe the answers are not meant for the likes of us. What we must do is play our roles. What belief? I believe I must try and stay by his side, and right now I am failing at that. Hmm, okay. What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? Perhaps checking on some seeds he had planted. Oh man, I just know you're speaking figuratively and it's just that cryptic <laughs> stuff again that drives me mad. Well, it's not really no literal, offense, is but it? why can't you just talk like normal people? I'm not normal people. True. Of course you're not. Well, I mean, I guess it could be literal. That would be quite funny if it was actual seeds. Uh, but is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? But is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? I can tell you some things, I guess. He might seem ever-changing, yes, but... Balance and rules, these too are in his nature. Self-imposed balance and rules. Mm. Uh, I'm sure you can be more specific than that. What rules? Do you ever watch the moon buzz, Koan? Uh, yeah, occasionally. Yeah, occasionally. There is something about it. It's phases. 
They seem to correlate to important events and to how he affects this world. Okay. But in which way exactly? You'll need to find out on your own. Uh, the Necronomicon then. The Necronomicon. Uh, you seem to know more about it than I do. You seem to know more about it than I do. What is it? Ah, uh, many things. We might call it holy, and we might be mistaken. Holy, as in not of this world. Uh, debatable, but do go on. It changes things. We know. Sherlock Holmes over here. <laughs> it chooses rules. It alters the very nature of things. But it does it when it wants, or when the stars are right. I see. And if it makes its way into the wrong hands, it ends existence itself. Well, we want to avoid well, that. that's encouraging. But mine are not the wrong hands, right? Right? They're not the most competent. That much is clear. No, they are not. I <laughs> think. Well, we'll see. Uh, why does it keep changing? Why does it keep changing? The Necronomicon is chaos in written, volatile form. Uh, what do its pages hold? What do its pages hold? What language is it written in and what does it all mean? I've never read it, nor do I want to. All I have to go on are rumors and whispers, but both hold more and more power in this world. As for the meaning of the words, some of them are most probably incantations or instructions of some kind. Instructions? Yes, and hmm. stories. Stories? What stories? It does not matter now. You must focus on your next move. Which is? Uh, would it be safer in your hands? Would it be safer in your hands? You do seem to know a lot more about it. No. No. Maybe I fear it more than you do. But that is not why I refuse it. It is not for me to bear it. I see. Yeah, I guess I needed to turn Kitty back. Yes, yes, you, uh, you need to do that. <laughs> uh, you said the book is pure chaos. You said the book is pure chaos, but Olmstein is about rules and balance? How does that work? You make a good point. For a while now, I've been suspecting there must exist a counterpoint to the chaotic tome. If there is such a thing, it should be sought out before it's ah. too late. Ah. Great, but I have no leads, no nothing. Can you help out in any way? I am considering it. Let me think about it. Okay, you do that. What was that? I think they're coming. The stairs. Damn it! Quick, out the window. Are you serious? It's really up high. Have faith. You can make it. I'll hold them back. But I don't know what to do or where to go or... There's no time. Go. Go. Well, I guess we're leaving. Whee! Find peace. Find peace. Interesting. That was pretty cool. Here we go. Hey there, Buzz. Fancy running into you. Yay! Mr. Kitsipe! Please, uh, call me Don. Welcoming town, Fisherman. Ain't it? Yeah, lovely. Boy, am I glad to see you. You okay, Don? Well... I have no shoes and I don't know how to run, <laughs> but aside from that, I'm all right. You uh, headed my way. Got a thing or two to uh, catch up on. Let's talk about it in Darkham. Taxi! All right, so back to Darkham we go then. To where it is hopefully going to be a little bit safer, but maybe not. Maybe not at all. All right, we uh, should be safe in here. I uh, hope. Better keep the lights down. You don't happen to have any cat food lying around, do you? <laughs> huh. I keep forgetting it can speak. Yeah, it's annoying. It's rude. Look, I let you two rest all the drive here from Fishmouth, but now it's time for us to buck up, get our coconuts situated, and work out where we're at. Right. So, what happened to you? I cracked lid in the underbunk of some lunatic cult. These guys were also after the Necronomicon, but apparently you gave them the slip. Not the sharpest crayons in the box. The Starry Knowledge Cult. Yeah, how'd you know? Anyway, they kneel and keel to some kind of rock what came from the stars. Supposed to croak you or give you some kind of vision beyond time if you lay your mitts on it. So, did you? Now I glow in the dark. Whoa. The Haunter's Mark, they call it. Ain't something I'd believe if I read it in the pulps, but now it's on me, I can't deny it. Things have 
definitely gone 15 shades of bizarro. And there's a talking cat. True. Again, I'm right here. Rude. Whoa. Did you try using your power? I didn't get the chance. I snuck out and crept around those smelly streets until I saw you legging it. That's about it. What you got? Well, I read from the book and now Kitty talks. Well, there's that. Then I visited a voodoo dude who told me to look for this Bob Olmstein guy in Fishmouth. Long story short, Olmstein had already left, but I did meet your employer. Fella by the name of Barnabas. Pretty big guy, white dreadlocks and beard, maybe in his 50s. Huh, I'll have to look him up in my files. Yeah, well, Barnabas is convinced Olmstein is of almost, uh, divine nature. And there's also another cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. And they're about to have their creepy festival in Fishmouth soon. They are. Oh, and there's a guy called the Butcher. There is. Oh, just saying it all out loud makes my head spin. A lot of information. I know about those esoteric weirdos. Not the first time they completely shut off Fishmouth to do God knows what. Butcher. Those starry kooks mentioned them. All Barnabas told me was to keep the Necronomicon away from the Butcher at all cost. And you know it's weird. Barnabas hired you to find the book, but he wouldn't take it when I offered it. Strange. Well, he did pay up front, so uh, he's all right as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so, what do we do now? You uh, want to help? Kid, strange and mysterious are why I work this beat. Now that I've lost my shoes and my hand is all magic-like, this old bloodhound ain't going back to the kennel until he's got some answers. Boy, am I glad to hear that. All right, well, there's two things. One, apparently there must be some item that counterbalances the Necronomicon's chaos. So we should probably look for that. Definitely. And two, Barnabas told me to find peace. I kind of want to research <laughs> that online. You do have internet, right? Uh, yeah. There should be some in that laptop thing. Oh, brother. The dream you team. Look into that. I want to see what this haunter's mark is all about. All right. So I think we're back to Dom then. We are indeed. And that's where we're going to leave it. A little bit longer this one. There was quite a bit of dialogue there. But the story is really hotting up, isn't it? I'm really, really enjoying this. And I cannot wait to see what happens next. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Termly90 for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push the video out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point and click community that we're building here. And I will see you all next time.